For those of you that's been looking at my videos for a while, you'll know that this is the Heligai Viper. I've had an awful lot of fun with this and this is a very stable uh, model, great to fly, superb for beginners and uh, takes crashes really, really well. So based on this little thing, I've actually got a slightly larger one. Uh, this has arrived in the post a couple of days ago. I've had a couple of batteries through it now, set it up, and I just wanted to kind of show you guys out there what this uh, what's this thing look like. Take you through some of the key features. It's uh, all aluminium, anodized black um, quad, uh, 258 millimeter quads. That's 258 millimeters uh, from motor to motor, and uh, it's got the KK 2.0 control board in the middle doing all of the brains. So I just wanted to show you the main bits and pieces on this. It's a, it's a fantastic model, very very powerful. I'll link to a video of it in flight um, being tested by the chap that built this thing, a um, gentleman called Chris who goes by the name of Bobby Pine on RC Groups. Um, uh, he actually built this uh, for me to my specification and uh, the way he flies it is absolutely amazing. It just shows how powerful this thing is. I'm just getting the hang of it because after coming to it from a Heligai Viper, it's like coming from a, uh, a family four-door to a um, Bugatti Veyron. So, you know, there's, an, there's a, a learning curve that I'm currently going up. The motors on this are four D8212 800 kV motors. That's quite a high KV for a quad of this size, but it actually works fantastically well. The props that are on here are um, 7x4.5 uh, props. Um, this one's a left, and of course the other one is a right. If I uh, move the camera over, apologies, this is probably going to be a little bit jumpy, because the tripod isn't fantastic. You'll actually see how thin the gap is between the two tips. So this is pretty much the maximum amount of prop that you can fit on a platform of this size. I've um, actually put an AR6200 I run Spectrum kit on the uh, on the quad. I've got the main board over this side um, going into the control inputs and also there's a satellite receiver on the other side which I've actually mounted underneath at 90 degrees so that actually should give me a fantastic signal wherever I'm flying. Um, I don't want to lose this, it's, uh, it's a great model and uh, it's a very uh, very powerful little thing so I want to make sure that if it's, um, if it's going a little bit further away from me than I might have liked that uh, I'll always have a fantastic signal and I'll always have a great connection. This is the KK 2.0 control board that sits in the middle and does all the hard stuff. Um, I was thinking about building my own quad um, when they started to become popular probably about oh God, 18 months, two years ago. And everyone was pulling together their own um, combination of gyros and other bits and pieces to try and make a, uh, a quad that was actually flyable. Uh, the KK 2.0 available from Hobby King is, uh, is essentially all of that in one package. I'm not sure you can read the screen very well, but it actually has all of the bits and pieces in here so that you can actually set everything up with. So it's very, very easy to set up. So for me, for example, I found that when I went into here and actually did the test of the receiver, I found that the channels were reversed for the elevator, and for the aileron, rudder was okay, but that meant that I could see as I moved the sticks left and right on the transmitter, this little screen actually showed me what the quadcopter controller was hearing. And uh, in both those instances, they were actually the wrong way around, so flip them around, they were fine. Um, what I'll do is I'll actually link now to a video of this exact quad being flown, and you can see what this little thing is capable of. Um, big thanks again to uh, Chris at RC Groups for building this for me. Uh, fantastic job, mate. It is an absolute perler. Um, beautiful uh, attention to detail. Um, it's been built the way that I would build it. So, you know, being very meticulous about everything, make sure there's no sharp edges, using the same colored zip ties for the color of metal that you're putting it on, all that stuff. So, um, thanks again. Enjoy the flight video. Uh, thanks to uh, to Chris for sending these through and um, hopefully I'll get a chance to post a flight video in the next couple of days. Have any questions? Post them and subscribe. Thanks for watching.
There is a ton of performance, this little guy. Now, propellers are 7 inch, 7045, and that's as big as you can fit on this frame. can see the performance for a size this quad is quite staggering. I am pretty confident that these 258s are the, the highest performance quad in the world right now in this size category. I don't think there's any quads out there in this size category at the moment that's able to outperform this. It's basically the, the fastest 250 or 260 quadcopter in the world. That's the bottom line.